Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the third video of the day. Man, it's been a lot of videos. I don't normally upload this many in a day. Normally, we have a solid one. But we got a ton of new content dropping tomorrow. And I was actually fortunate enough to go down to Treyarch. Activision flew me down there, gave me a hotel to stay. And I actually got to play some of the DLC early. So today, I'm bringing you a little bit of early content. And specifically, in this video, we are talking about the two new weapons and the two new maps coming to multiplayer. So the four things we're going to talk about in this video are the two new weapons and the two new maps. So the first weapon is the Switchblade X9. It's like a compact SMG. The second weapon is called the Rampage. It's a fully automatic shotgun, which of course we've had in Call of Duty's before with like the AA-12 and that kind of stuff. So we'll talk about whether or not this gun is kind of overpowered like those ones. And then we also have the two new maps to talk about, Casino and lockup. So a lot of stuff to talk about, but before we do, I just wanted to let you guys know that if I haven't covered something you have questions about, if you have any questions about anything I do talk about, I'm actually going to be having a live stream later tonight. In fact, if this video is up, I am probably live streaming. It'll be the first link down in the description. So if you want to play some Call of Duty with me, or you want to ask me some questions about season three of Black Ops 4, click that link down in the description. It'll take you to Twitch. You can ask me whatever you'd like, or you can just play some Black Ops 4 with me. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, click that link down below. But without further ado, we've got a lot to talk about. So let's start by talking about the weapons. So the first weapon we're going to talk about is the Switchblade X9. Now, when we talked to the developers about this weapon, they explained it as almost like a briefcase gun. In other words, it's a weapon that someone could keep in a briefcase to sneak into a heist, which is, of course, the theme of Season 3 of Black Ops 4. Now... Using this weapon isn't quite as fun as the description of it because it's really not that great. I would put it middle of the road, maybe not as bad as the GKS, but somewhere around the MX-9's level. Now, the one thing I do have to take into account is I was playing against a bunch of YouTubers who are, of course, really good at the game. So it's possible that it is a little bit better than I remember it, but you do have some pretty good attachments for it. So the thing with this weapon is it's only a 26 round magazine. So because of that, you pretty much have to use the hybrid mags. So the attachments you have left are quick draw one and two, rapid fire one and two, stabilizer, grip, stock, laser sight, and FMJ. All pretty good options for a class. Most of the time I was using rapid fire one, rapid fire two, stock and grip. Later on, I figured I had to use the hybrid mag, so it changed a little bit later on. Now, if we get out of the menus and actually look at some gameplay, you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So as far as this weapon goes, it has a really fast rate of fire, a really small magazine, and does really, really low damage. You really do feel like you're shooting paintballs at people with this gun. So because of that, it has that fast rate of fire and small magazine, which means you burn through a lot of ammo really quick, which means you need hybrid mags to reload faster and have essentially extended mags on the gun as well. I have a feeling that Treyarch doesn't want to put out guns that are too ridiculous at their launch, and because of that has made this a little bit weaker. My guess was within the first four weeks of this gun being released, it's going to get a buff, so I do think it's going to get better. Maybe not a lot better, but better. Like I said, I put this right around where the MX-9 falls into its place in Black Ops 4. Not a terrible weapon, but not a top-tier gun at all. Speaking of top tier guns though, the second gun we're talking about is the Rampage. As I mentioned before, this is a fully automatic shotgun similar to something like the AA-12. Is it as good as the Brecky from previous Call of Duty games? No, it's not as good as the Broccoli gun. However, it is good and it has some really good attachments on top of that. And those include stock, quick draw, grip and all of the second attachments for those also hybrid mags and max load so i definitely recommend using both hybrid mags max load and possibly quick draw i haven't really used the gun enough to really give you a good recommendation but max load and hybrid mags are both very good max load basically makes it so every bullet you shoot has extra pellets in other words does extra damage to enemies now the question is how does this weapon feel it feels strong it feels like you're doing a lot of damage to people and if you run up against someone who's using like a spitfire or the new SMG, you are going to beat them. This is a strong enough gun to at least do that. The problem is, is you go through ammo very, very quickly, and on top of that has a relatively long reload speed. Is this gun going to be super annoying? Is everyone going to be using it? I don't think so, but it is possible. Full auto shotguns do have the potential to be like that, but personally, I don't think this is quite there. But it is a good gun, and out of the two, it's definitely the better of the two. 
Now, there's also a third kind of hidden weapon. It's a melee weapon called Cha-Ching. Basically, it's a bag of coins, and really, there's nothing else to say about that. Now, the one question that everyone is asking, are these weapons free? I, I believe so. I believe that they're going to be a part of the 100 tiers, just like they were in Operation Absolute Zero. So simply by playing the game, leveling up your battle pass, you will be able to unlock all of these weapons for free. And hopefully, the one you unlock first is the Rampage, because it's better but I'm doubting that. Moving on, we have maps to talk about. The first of which is called Casino. It's pretty straightforward what it is. It's a casino. More specifically though, I believe the casino is in France. There's writing all over the map in French. The outskirts of the map kind of look like Italy, but that wouldn't make any sense with the language. So I'm guessing it is in France, but I do have to say it's a really interestingly well-designed map. What I mean by that is it's a large map, but it plays like a close quarter quarters map. So in other words, it's the large map done correctly. Essentially, you can use SMGs, shotguns, assault rifles, even LMGs on this map and do pretty well. It is going to be difficult to snipe on this thing as there's not a ton of long lines of sight, but it is a larger style map that you can use SMGs and we don't really have any of that in Black Ops 4. So that is nice to see something new like that come to the game. The one thing that I think is a downside about this map though is it's mostly an indoor map, which means most of your air Aerial score streaks, your Hellstorm missiles, your attack helicopters, sniper's nests really aren't going to do well on this map, which always kind of makes your streaks not as good on that type of map. It is also a really cool ambiance for a multiplayer map. You can hear the slot machines going in the background, you can see poker chips, all that kind of stuff. So all in all, it works really well. Definitely a really good map, but it's actually not my favorite out of the two. My favorite out of the two is called Lockup. And once again, this is a very interesting playing map. It's a relatively small map with mostly short lines of sight. So SMGs, mid-range assault rifles are going to do really, really good on this map. But it's also a weird map to navigate because one side of the map's kind of elevated on the top of the police station, whereas the other side, you're kind of spawning a little bit lower on the street. And because of that, it creates a really weird dynamic where flipping the spawns is somewhat important. I feel like some people won't like the map because of that but to me it adds an interesting flair and on top of that i always love smaller sized maps that really make you play quickly and rush the enemy spawn so that's why i personally liked it but not everyone may feel that way now, the positive side to this is that neither of these maps suck. If you remember, in Operation Absolute Zero, there was Madagascar. Madagascar was arguably, no, you know what, not arguably, one of the worst Call of Duty maps of all time. Whereas this DLC doesn't really have a bad map, which is really great to see. And neither of these maps are remakes, neither of these maps have ever been seen before. So I'm kind of interested to hear what you guys have to say. What do you think of the new maps? What do you think of the new weapons? Let me know what you think down in the comments. Now, the one other thing I will say about lockup is while I was there, I did some digging, went into theater mode. This map has a really, really cool backstory. Now, I'm not going to spoil it in this video. I'm probably going to do a backstory on it later this week, but this backstory is comparable with Contraband, which was probably before this my favorite story out of any of the maps. So it's going to be a good one, and I look forward to bringing you guys that. Now, at this point, my question for you is, what do you think of the DLC content? Throughout the entire day we have been talking, I've shown you Outrider, I have showed you the new content coming to the Black map now i've showed you the two multiplayer weapons the two multiplayer maps so my question is what do you think what weapon looks good to you what maps look good to you what are you excited for let me know down in the comments now the one piece of advice i'll give you is out of the two new weapons the rampage is absolutely the better out of the two so if there's somehow a choice of which to unlock first that would be the one i would choose um, on top of that outrider as we talked about today is a lot of fun but doesn't have the best specialist weapon in the game so make sure you learn it maybe even try it out in custom games before you try it in multiplayer if you're really worried about that kill death but ladies and gentlemen i hope you enjoyed the video if you did i would really appreciate it if you could hit that like button if you're new to the channel like what you see maybe you haven't checked out the other videos yet today be sure to hit that subscribe button and be sure to hit that notification button as it is the best way to stay up to date on all of my videos throughout the next week i'm sure we're gonna have a lot of content coming out with the new update dropping tomorrow the 19th on ps4 and then next tuesday on xbox so like i said be sure to stay tuned if you're interested and if you 
have any questions, I am going to be doing a live stream right now as you watch this. First link down in the description. It'll take you over to Twitch. So hopefully I will see you there. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, peace out. We are, we are reaching for the stars, but we're